It's the manager's report brought to you by Geico. Aaron, you didn't get much from the offense today. Why do you think they struggled to put runs on the board? Um, yeah, just couldn't muster enough. Uh, the couple opportunities we had just couldn't cash in. Um, you know, got to, you know, obviously as a group, got to start getting it rolling. What have you thought about the offense and the performance of the offense as a whole to start the season? Um, well, I think as a group, we've struggled a little bit to get to catch our stride where we're obviously going to get to. Um, so it's just a matter of us collectively starting to string really good at bats as a group. And when that happens, we'll start to take off. I felt like. You know, yesterday we put together a good inning. Uh, the day before where we got shut down a little bit against the Orioles, I thought we had better at bats coming off a couple of, uh, you know, seven-run games. But, you know, I think it's just collectively as a group just really stringing together tough at bats that were, that I know these guys w will over time, but we got to start doing it as a group and really make it difficult on the pitcher. You're next to Brian Hoke. Aaron, how did you feel about Domingo Herman's outing and, um, you know, any concern that he gave up another home, uh, another two home runs today? Um, I actually thought, I thought he threw okay. Obviously the two homers were, you know, a mistake changeup that he kind of yanked down and into Meadows there trying to go away there. And then a first pitch of the inning where he's trying to get a sinker into a Rosa Reina, put it right on the plate and he put a good swing on other than that, you know, a couple balls back to him, one to start an inning by Wendell and then one he deflects, you know, other than that, I, I, I thought he, I thought he threw the ball. Okay. You know, he had a little more life on his fastball today. Um, I thought he settled in pretty well and started, you know, command the secondary stuff pretty well. So really it was just the two home runs today uh, and, and, you know, the inability to grab a couple soft, softly hit balls back to him. Eric Bowen, please unmute. Aaron, as long as you've been here, you always talk about controlling the strike zone at the plate. How have you felt you guys have done in that regard eight games in? Yeah, that, that's an area where, we're, again, I think collectively we got to, you know, we got to be better as a group in that regard, and we will be. Um, you know, these guys are grinding away. These guys are working hard. Um, you know, it's very early in the season, and, and you know, you want to get into that routine and that st settle into the regular season um you know i think sometimes early on you want to you you want it you want it bad and and really to to control the zone like this team is capable of you know you just really got to focus on the at bat and not going up there chasing a result and when 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 our guys do that you know they're not going to be held down go next to joel sherman joel Aaron, do you think uh, your team is better than the Tampa Bay Rays? And if so, why? Well, we'll see. I mean, they're one of the teams that we got to compete with in this division. Um, they're obviously a, a, a good team and the defending American League champions. We have expectations of, of being that and more this year. So they're one of the teams we have to go through. Um, and, and I'll take our chances, but we got a long way to go from here here in between here and then. So I think it's silly to answer that question right now. We got to go out and prove it. Go next to Christy Ackert. Go ahead, Christy. Aaron, uh, Timco has struggled with home, giving up home runs before, I mean, this season. What do you see? Yeah, I'm sorry. What do you see from him that it makes him prone to that? Well, he fills up the strike zone, like, you know, which which we love, you know, he's going, he goes after guys and, and really commands his pitches and, and lives in the strike zone. So it's usually not a lot of free passes with him. Uh, you can certainly live with, um, you know, some solo shots here and there. Um, so overall, I don't feel like he's far off from really dialing in a good one. And, um, you know, I think that's just a product of, of filling up the strike zone as much as he does. Marley Rivera. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Christy. Sorry. Um, you've had two 
short outings from your starters in your bullpen set, or do you need to make a move? We'll see. We'll, we'll go in and talk about it. And, you know, obviously we've had to lean on the bullpen a little bit here these last couple of days, especially some of our length guys. So, uh, you know, that's, that'll be something we have to talk about. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Marley Rivera, please unmute. Aaron, how would you assess uh, the work of your defense overall in the first two games of the series? Uh, man, I got to be better. I thought we did a lot of good things today. Gio made a great play, but also, you know, made the air. Um, Guardy with, you know, as good a play you're going to see a left fielder go make, being able to track that down. I thought Glaber made a great play up the middle where they beat the throw out and, and made a couple other good plays. So, um, you know, it's got to be better. You know, you're going to be a great team. We got to be a little bit better and more airtight. And, uh, you know, we just got to continue to work in that area. Dan Martin, please unmute. Aaron, how did, uh, how did Judge come, come through the day? Good. I, I'll go, you know, get with him here, you know, after the settles in, you know, after the game. But it seemed like he, he did fine. And do you expect to start him tomorrow as well, just because of the, the turf? I mean, if, if he, even if he is okay? Yeah, if he's, if, if he's okay, I, I would expect to play him. Yeah. And, and Jay, Jay Bruce has, you know, has struggled on both sides of the ball now, it seems. You know, he's just not looking that comfortable. It, are, you, are you comfortable with him? at first base and in the regular lineup uh, going forward here? Yeah, I've, I've, you know, I think he's done a lot of good things defensively, and I do think he has some natural movements over there. Again, it's 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 gaining that everyday experience that you, it's hard to replicate. You got to get reps to, to really be where everything's kind of second nature to you. The little nuances of the position become second nature. And I feel like he's done a lot of good in that area. But obviously, there's still still room for growth there, and uh, you know, one of those guys we got to got to get rolling at the plate too. Eric Rowland. Is there a decent chance we see Odor in there tomorrow? Uh, a decent chance. We'll see. Thanks, Eric. Yeah.